Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Today we have a 50 roll penny hunt. Uh, Brinks wrapped rolls. We're looking for, <clears throat> excuse me, proofs, wheats, uh, Indians, old Canadians, varieties, errors, you name it. If it's odd or something cool, I'll bring you in for it. Let's get into roll one. See what we have here on Enders. Let's get into it. I'll bring you in on the first find. All right, I started into roll one. And then I noticed this here, which looks like we have a weedy. First roll. Let's see what we got. 1955 out of Philly. Check it for the poor man's doubling. A weird little dot next to that five. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. All right, bring it back in on the next find. All right, we're on roll two. I just flattened it out, and I think this is a weedy here. We have a 1934 out of Philly. Nice. I gotta bring it back in on the next one. Roll number three. Just flattened it out. And we have a weedy. 1944 out of Philly. And I saw Canadian. Nineteen eighty-three. Alright, I'll continue on this roll. I'll bring you back in if I find something else. Oh, here we go, two thousand nine. So speaking of, I found another two thousand nine earlier. So early childhood. And I don't know the other one. I'll figure it out after. Bring it back in on the next one. Roll number five. Gives us our next wheat. 1957 out of Philly. Bring you back in on our next find. Roll number six is going to give us our next wheat scent. 1958 out of Denver. I'll check the mint mark for any kind of variety. And that looks normal. All right, bring you back in on our next find. Still number roll six, and we have a 1946 out of Denver. Looks normal to me. No die cracks. All right. Till the next one. Roll number 12. And we have a Canadian. 1956. It's pretty shape, pretty good shape for a 56. All right, I'll bring you back in on the next find. We have roll number 14. Three finds, two foreigns, have one. 1990 Canadian, a 1975 Canadian, and a 1952 Wheat Scent. Get into roll 15. I'll bring you back in on our next find. All right, I just flattened out roll 15, and it looks like I have a King George. Let's see what we got here. I just pinched at nothing. This thing is in really nice shape. 1940. Wow. That thing is beautiful. All right, I'll put this one aside as I would find. And I'll bring you back in on our next one. Hey everybody, I'm on roll number 17. I have a 1989, as you can see, under the scope. 
And this one might have the 88 reverse with the FG. Uh, normally it has kind of like a tail down here and it comes in a little bit here. This one does not have that. The FG is also closer to the building here. So this might be the 88 reverse, which is a really good find if that's what this is. I kind of need to do a little bit more research on it. Um, if any of you know, let me know down in the comments. I will be putting this one aside as a find. Uh, we're going to continue on the hunt. But if you think this is the 88 reverse, let me know down in the comments. I'm on roll 19. I have a 1960D with a decent sized die chip in the 6. I don't see any kind of mint mark variety. No doubling. But I'll put this one aside as a find. Bring it back in on the next one. Roll number 20. We have a next weedy find. 1944. Not a Philly. All right. Bring you back in if we find anything else. All right, we're on roll number 28, uh, about two thirds of the way through. I have a 2006 under the scope, and we have a DDO. You can see right in here, we have some extra thickness here. That donut shaped O, a little less here. Thickness in the sixth there. We have some doubling in Liberty. Let's see if I can get that a little clearer. And then nothing really, not much up here. A little thicker in Trust, but mainly in the numbers 2006. All right, let me get back into the hunt. I'll bring you back in. On our next find. Roll number 28. And I have this funky looking scent here. I don't know what's going on with it. But, ah man. Let me see. I don't know what's this. This is, if it's damage... Somebody put a pliers to it or something. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's an error. There's not too much damage on the reverse, which makes me think it might not be. Um, Man-made, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this. I'll put it under the scope so you can take a look at it. There's something... I don't know. Maybe it was put into a vise and then sanded down? I have no idea. Let's... Very strange looking. This definitely has some machine markings to it. Very weird. Let me show you the other side. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, right here it looks like it could have been squeezed by something. And then... Right in there by the O. I'm not sure. Very, very odd. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. That's a very... Odd looking scent. All right, bring it back in on the next find. Roll number 29, and I just noticed this. Nineteen fifty-seven out of Denver. That one's in nice shape too. Looks like it could be a uh, RPM. We have some notching 
right here. A little extra thickness down here. And I think that's an RPM. I'll have to do a little bit of research on it, figure out which one it is. I'll put that down at the bottom of the screen. Looks like it kind of... I'll have to look into this, but it's a fairly nice looking weedy right there. Um, reverse is a little chewed, but all right, bring you back in on the next find. All right, we got roll number 31. I have a 2017 P under the scope. And we have a little bit of doubling in Liberty. So you can see the notching here. It's thicker here than it is there. Some notching here. The odd shaped R. So we have a doubled 2017P. Bring it back in on our next one. Roll number 36. And we finally have another wheat scent. It's been, uh, it's been quite a while since... We come across a weedy. There's the reverse. And 1950. Nice. Not in bad shape on that one either. So we finish out this roll here. See if I come across anything else. I'll bring you back in for it. A nice little toner right here. I don't know what this one is. All right. I'll bring you back in on our next find. All right, I just flattened out roll number 42. <clears throat> we have a foreign that doesn't look familiar to me. Barbados. That's a cool little design for the reverse. 1973, so it's older. So like a, a fish and a pelican shield. I don't know. Looks like some guy's random arm. Maybe a knight's helmet there. Pride in industry. That's pretty cool. Trident. That's a really cool looking coin. I like that. All right, let me get back into this roll. I'll bring you back in on the next find. All right, I'm still on roll number 42, that trident roll. And I put this 2013 under the scope. And this is a first find for me. I've never found one for myself. I've actually been looking for a 2013 DDO. And this is the first one I've come across. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> you can see the definite extra thickness in here up in the zero here and under here looks like it's got flared there extra thickness in the three that's an awesome find i was just actually i don't know 10 minutes ago looking on ebay at the 2013 ddos a little bit of extra thickness in liberty i don't think there's really anything else in here But that's an awesome find. I've been looking for a really long time for a 2013. So that's definitely going in the collection. All right, I'll bring it back in on the next find. Roll number 44 gives us our next wheat scent. We have a 1944 out of Philly. All right, we finish out this roll. I'll bring it back in if I come across anything else. All right, I'm on roll number 45. I don't have anything crazy, but I did come across this 1989 that's in gorgeous shape. Trying not to touch it as much. But, I mean, that thing is beautiful, except for this one little carbon spot down here. That's a nice looking coin.
All right, just figured I'd bring you in for that one. Let me get back into it. I'll bring you in on the next find. All right, so we just finished up 50 rolls. I'm on the last roll here, what I just finished, which ended up being a phenomenal roll. We had a 1951 Wheaty, a 1955 Canadian, a 1967 Canadian, 1985, and this gorgeous 1986, but that's not why I have it held aside. So I pulled this one aside, I'll put it under the scope for you. You can see right here by 19, we have a dye clash on a memorial scent. You can see, let's see if I can get it. So right in here, there's a dye clash. You can see here is clashing. Let's see out. Right behind his shoulder blade, we have clashing right up here, goes up this way, looks like maybe he goes into here. Um, this actually is a pretty good die clash, I've, I don't think I've ever found one like this in this good a shape. We have part of the memorial building here, up here. Looks like some something's going on in there. Yeah, so we have some of the pillars or in between the pillars right in here. Sometimes you can see stuff on his face, but I'm not making out too much. I don't know what's going on right there. Um, see if we can see anything else here on the re obverse that's a really good one and this coin is in great shape let me flip it over show you what's on the reverse looks like maybe something near his mouth but we'll throw it around the back we have some of Lincoln's head area. I have this here. There's something right down in here. I just had it but lost it. Uh, you can see it right there. Right in here. Uh, there's a, a lot going on here. Sorry about how long this has taken, but I want to show you uh, everything to look for. You got clashing right in here. Let's see. Sorry, my son's in the background playing on his Oculus, making some odd noises. All right, so that's a really cool find. See the clashing right there. So this is definitely going to get put aside into the collection. This this coin is really, really nice. It looks like maybe right in here. Right, right at the corner of the building too, right in here. All right, so let me... Uh, let me get into the final wrap up, get everything organized, and I'll bring you back in for it. All right, here's our final wrap up. We have our foreigns. I have a 1955, 1956 Canadian, 61, 62, 65, 67, 69, 75, and we have 78. Oh, oh. Another 75, 78, 83, 85, 90, another 90, and a 2002. We have all the 2009s for the Phillies. A 2009 Philly 
and Denver, early childhood, um, 2009, formative years, I think, 2009 professional life, and 2009 presidency. Ooh, I think I got them all. I have such a hard time remembering any of these, but I think I got it that time. All right. Then I have this 1974 that looks like it was machine damaged by somebody, but I'm not sure. 2017 DDO. And we have the 1960 with the die chip and the six. The 1989 with a possible 88 reverse. 2006 DDO, 1957 with an RPM, repunch mint mark. I'm going to try to put these on the screen um, later in the video. For our wheats, we have a 1934, three 1944s, 1946 out of Philly, and then <clears throat> we have a 1950 Philly. 51 Philly, 52 Philly, rough shape, 55, 57, and a 58 out of Denver. And then for me, the finds of this hunt are this, um, this is Barbados. Barbados coin from 1973. Definitely the King George from 1950. The 2013 DDO, which I've been hunting for for quite some time. And then this 1986 Clash Die Obverse. That's awesome. That coin's in gorgeous shape. And I also did pull aside some nicer coins to check against the album. So that's it. That's our hunt. I will bring you back in for the album fill if they're is anything to plug in but if you made it this far and you like what you see please subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you get notified on my next videos and all upcoming videos and hit that like button it helps the channel and each video get more views on YouTube so stay tuned I'll bring you back in for the album fill all right, so here's the album. We have one uh, input, one new, which is a 1946D for a filled spot. And I have three upgrades. I have <clears throat> a 1982 small date zinc. That's that one. We have a 1989, and that's an upgrade, and then a 1990 for an upgrade. And that's what we have so far. That's our album as of right now. Still missing most of the teens. Still missing most of the 20s to the 30s and we have some in the 40s most of the 50s 60s and 70s are coming along nice Got some nice examples in here 70s and 80s. We need some more some more work here. 90s. It's a lot of proofs. Again, I gotta stop pulling some more D-mint stuff. But that's our album. And let's see. I'll get you the reverse again. If anybody can make this out, check the dates and mintages. All right, that's it for the album. I'll bring you back in 
Well, I should say, uh, see you on the next video. Please, again, if you did make it this this far, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and tap that like button. See you on the next one.